Hey guys, before we get this hunt started, I wanted just to let you know real quick that this is the first video of a five day series. So once you're done with this video, remember that every day for the next five days, I'm gonna upload a new video in the evening so you guys can stay caught up on this mule deer hunt. Each day is all mule deer hunting and I want you to watch the end of this video so you can see exactly what the storyline is and why I went to Idaho after this by myself to hunt mule deer. So hope you guys enjoy it and give the video a thumbs up and if you haven't already guys, please subscribe. What's up guys, it is October 27th, it's a Friday. I'm just hiking up to Glassing Point to scout for mule deer. Right now is Utah's any weapon mule deer hunt, the gentle season. I don't have a tag, but Jordan Harbertson's wife does. I told him if I got back from New Mexico and they hadn't tagged out yet that we'd run up here together and give it a morning hunt. So we have tomorrow to hunt. Figured if that's the case, I better come up tonight and scout. So I'm almost to my glassing point and I've already seen three deer. One doe, one fawn, and one small buck. Um, which is good because Jordan would be happy to shoot any size deer. So we're definitely not trying to shoot a giant up here. We're just trying to have a good time and uh, fill the freezer with some mule deer meat. And I think Jordan mentioned that um, they know a family in need of meat. So because Jordan shot an elk, they want to come up here, try to shoot a buck and donate the meat to that family. So super cool. Like who wouldn't want to help with that, right? Just work my way up the ridge a little bit. I'm gonna get my spotting scope out. Check things out here for like 10, 20 minutes and then maybe move up to the next knob. I think this is a good starting point. I could see a lot of country, some drainages down below me, and uh, one steep hill over here to the right. So um, let's see what we can turn up. I just spotted the first decent buck. Uh, I can't tell what he is because there's too much oak brush behind him, but a mature buck keeps looking uphill. So there's probably, I guess would be there's more deer right in there somewhere. I'll tell you what. I have so much fun helping people. Like, I probably could put more effort into helping people than I would on my own hunt. I don't know why, I just love to help people, especially uh, Jordan. She hasn't hunted for very long, so I know she's gonna have a good hunt tomorrow. I'm excited. I'm gonna get some phone scope with this buck, though. This ridge, we're gonna peek over the other side and start looking for deer. Try to turn up a buck. All the bucks. I don't think it's gonna take long, so last night I was just sitting on this ridge where I saw those bucks. So we're just gonna creep over the top, hunker down, and uh, just get set up. We don't wanna get too deep before we jump a bunch of deer, so we're gonna start right here. But uh, it's go time. <sighs> Let's get it. You ready, Jordan? Hey guys, we got a buck spotted already. He's uh, 285 yards. They're gonna go back to the ridge. We're gonna get her set up laying down prone. This should be uh, a done deal pretty early, but I'm shaking, I'm so excited. I saw this buck there last night and he hasn't gone 50 yards from where I saw him, so it might be over pretty quick, but I'm getting so excited. <sighs> let's go try it out, let's, let's get this done. We might get a crack at him if he turns broadside. Jordan, are you good? I could stop him. feel comfortable don't shoot just he's just moving so much well that happened pretty quick and he covered a lot 
lot of ground in a short amount of time, so we never got a really good, a steady shot on him. So we're gonna move up. We got another buck spotted, and uh, if we can't get on this buck, we bedded a three-point. And so if this plan doesn't work. We'll come back to the bedded buck. But I think we've seen four or five bucks, so we're still in the game. Well, we found that bedded buck. By the time we got over, though, he was standing and feeding and we decided it'd be smart just to watch him. Sure enough, five minutes later, he just bonsai down to the bottom of the canyon and laid down again where we can't see him. So we know where he's at. We just can't see him in the thick oak. So we're gonna walk um, up the canyon across from him. It's gonna be about 200 yards tops. And he is in the direct bottom of this canyon. And the only thing I could think of, because these guys only have half a day, is we gotta get a little aggressive. See if we can just bump him up, just kind of like a soft bump, bump him up and see if he'll just present a shot, turn, maybe he'll get curious, turn and look at us. Eric just a I, soft push, that's all we need. A soft push. Eric and I always believe in like, if you want to get the greatest rewards out of life, sometimes you have to take the biggest risks, right? We're, yeah, that's a big risk. And that is a huge risk. We've got a, back, a buck bedded, and we could sit here all day on them and wait for an opportunity, drop down, but Eric's right, like, let's just, let's get him out of his bed and let's give him an opportunity. Let's create, create an, an opportunity. opportunity. Making our way down. Try not to bump any other deer. Jordan on the glass up there. Good old gentle season hunt, man. One of my favorite hunts of the year. And I never have a tag. We've arrived at the rally point. It's rally point A should be our point of impact with that bug. So, it's not, we're right. ditching everything. Ditching everything. Jordan, you ready? It's ready as hell. <laughs> okay, so, rifle, shooting sticks. I'm behind the camera and the tripod. All right, we're all set up. We just gotta try to bump this bug out of this thick stuff. He's so thick down in the bottom. See if we can turn him up though. What you're gonna do is keep your gun there, but you're gonna be out of your shadows. You will see so when you see it, and he pops out down here. Okay, let's look down on him and start looking for him. Find him, try to Um, that shot, we, my gut instinct was she hit the deer. I thought she did too. The way it reacted, the thud, the sound, so we're going over to the other side of the canyon right now to go look for blood. We know exactly the trail he used to get out of there. And we're just hoping for the best, so wish us luck. Hey, quit hiding behind my scope, man. <laughs> <laughs> So we're he's hoping. just on the other side of this right there. That was a, it turned out to be pretty much what we expected. Um, the deer got nervous, ran up the ridge, stopped um, just kind of right behind some like really thin oak brush. You could see him clear as day. And uh, she took a shot. Send so. Full send, huh? Yeah. She went to shoot again, but unfortunately there wasn't a bullet in the, there wasn't a cartridge in the bolt. It didn't grab it. She didn't pull it back far enough, which is, which is a bummer, my, my, but it's all right. It's not the end of the world. Yeah. We're gonna move over here and see if we can find him. No blood yet. He came out. You missed him. He was right here at the He came up right top. See that blonde spot right there? He came up and over the top. 
I'm waiting. I'm waiting to see if he comes out on that side. If he does, if he, oh, there he is. There he is. Okay, he is. See his butt. Okay, the patch. He's moving up. There's a big quick patch. You can see his white tongue right now moving up. He's hanging and moving up the mountain right now. See, see that, that blonde, that blonde spot? Yeah. He was just walking all the way up. So I was over on that point, then I look over and she's just pointing, going like this, and I'm like, he's right there, but he's not. so I pull my glass he and I see He was going her. up, and so then I hurry and got in my scope, and then I, he never gave me an opportunity. He was going up all the time. I'm hiding, hiding with you. That was exciting though, I was like, oh my gosh, she's right there. Right. Well guys, after um, checking the trail and confirmed there's no blood, we decided to pop over the next ridge and uh, get Jordan set up on the sticks. Sure enough, Jordan saw the buck bust out of the bottom. He never stopped on that next ridge, so no shot was taken, but confirmed by me and Jordan, and Jordan, that he is still alive and well. So uh, no blood. He ran to the next canyon, and we decided let's back, let's back off of there. And go. Welcome to the Post Hunt Interview Podcast, webcast. This, this is streaming. Really this is streaming live streaming. on the uh, Hops Life podcast. Oh. Everybody, welcome to the show. We didn't get a deer today, unfortunately, and that bums me out. Normally, I would say, I'm always bummed if you don't get one. Yeah, a little bit, but not really. You know, there's a lot more to hunt than just the kill, but, and we experienced pretty much everything but that today. And But the reason I'm bummed is because yesterday, talking to Jordan, and uh, this morning, talking with both of them, uh, they shared with me that the goal of this hunt was to shoot a deer, a buck, any buck. Didn't, Didn't have to be the size bigger. was Didn't not matter. an issue. And the plan with that meat was to what? Donate it? Yeah, I wanted to donate it. That's actually what kind of sparked my interest into hunting was um, not just about the kill, but I kind of learned that I heard people donated the meat to some families and I'm like, that's so cool. Like I want to do that for somebody sometime. And we've been fortunate this year. I got an elk and so we've got a freezer plenty full. So we've got plenty of meat. So there's obviously plenty of people out there who don't. Yeah. yeah. And I just know there's lots of families that can't afford like protein. And so like that kind of first sparked my first interest into wanting to hunt. And then obviously for this hunt, you really wanted to also give back. Yeah. You know, yeah. like we've 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 received mm -hmm. and now it's our turn to give back to those who um are not as fortunate as we've been yeah. this was such a fun day and and we had you know thanks to eric we had a lot of opportunity we had he came up last night and scouted and gave us some options so when we got up here i mean we got into three three different bucks mm -hmm. and it was i learned so much yeah you do you learn a lot when you're out here this hunt is coming to an end and i'm gonna go and hunt out of state um, tomorrow in the next three days. So, I want to extend the goal of getting a deer in hopes that, well, if I get a deer, hopefully I get a deer, and if so, if I get a deer on my next hunt, get I'll hook up with these guys again, we'll update you guys, and if I get a deer, it's we're gonna donate it to those families that, that they had in mind. So, that's what's so cool about being a hunter, guys. You don't see it, it's not on the media, there is so much positivity in the hunting community where hunters, I know Ted Nugent, I mean you can name them all across the board, that literally donate hundreds of pounds of meat. Yep. You just don't hear about it. If I get a deer in Idaho, next three days, we'll hook up. That's awesome. And uh, we'll do it. And we'll do that, give that to those families that need it. Good luck with that, dude. Yeah. Thank you. Solo Eric, going in <laughs> incognito all by himself. I'm going to pay it forward and uh, take it from these guys and take their goal and um, apply it to my next hunt. It's going to be sweet. This is awesome, Eric. Yes, thank you so much. It was fun. That was fun. That was thank a lot you, of fun. Thank you. <laughs> Good thing we found out, too, is that you, you can shoot straight. The gun is shoot. on. Yeah. Gun is on. <laughs> small misses, you know. You try to aim small so you miss small, but you you know you can't win them all, and they're not all going to be slam dunks. No. But uh, but it was it was fun to watch my wife, you know, Get behind the gun and yeah, she... hike her butt off. <laughs> she kept up with Eric and I, and she never complained. She just worked hard, just like all of us. And like Eric said, we're bummed, but he's gonna, he's gonna, we're gonna pass the baton off, and we're gonna let him go up and uh, see if he can't finish the job. Thank you for watching this film. Um, if you haven't already, go check out 
Mountain Ops YouTube channel. We will put a link here, like a little annotation and a link in the description box. Any last words? Keep conquering, guys. And Eric is awesome. <laughs> Aww, I thought your husband was pretty awesome. <laughs> You're awesome Eric. Too. See you guys. <laughs>